How is it going, everyone? It's Sam. I am doing something a little bit different. This is my second channel. Uh, if you don't know it, you can check it out. I do some different type of content on here. Some of it's for Patreon only, but uh, some of this is just stuff that I wouldn't put on my normal channel because it won't get as many views there. But it is still stuff that comes up and that people want to ask about. I just don't want to throw off the YouTube algorithm, like I said. So this is my growth portfolio for Weeble. Now, I've been adding to this, and a lot of people have been asking me about it. This is going to be a one take. This is the great thing about this channel. I can be raw. So I apologize if I um and ah a little bit or I say something wrong. It's a little bit of a different experience on this channel. But I just want to run through my portfolio, talk to you about it, uh, tell you kind of what some of my thoughts are on some of these companies and why I might have a little bit or a lot or, you know, all my returns and stuff like that. So if you guys like this, please hit the like button. Please hit the subscribe button. Right now, we're actually past a thousand subscribers on this channel. And it's really interesting because I still need to hit 4,000 watch hours. I've On my first channel, I hit them about the same time. But with this one, I've pushed some people from my main channel. So I would really appreciate if you watch through to the end and subscribe to the channel. I don't post that much on this one, but I think we will grow over time. So uh, definitely check this one out. And if you guys want to know exactly why I'm buying or selling, uh, you can check out my link to Patreon. I have it in my main videos. I'll put it at the bottom of this video too, but uh, you can take a look at that. I tell them exactly why I'm buying in real time. So uh, I have a much larger portfolio than just what's in Weeble. I have stocks and other portfolios too, but this is where I've been buying a lot of the SPAC stocks recently. So you can take a look here. I have Ride stock. This is a really small position. I don't remember why it's so small. I think I started to buy a couple shares, and this is back before I was making pretty good money on YouTube. I bought this pretty early on, and I really haven't bought any. I think the 1796 is still from like the first run-up that it had. Uh, and I haven't bought any since then. I just found other stocks. Same thing with NBAC. I actually, so this one I bought 10 shares of. It went up 86% the next day. I sold half of it and kept half. So it's a good problem to have. I, I kept all the, pretty much all the profits in the stock. Social capital, I feel good about. IPOB, I have need to add more to this position and I really want to. The thing is I have been buying a lot of other shares of companies. Uh, some of these aren't right also, like Qualcomm and uh, some of these other companies that I've held for a while, Disney, Facebook, I moved them into this portfolio. So when they moved, they reset the cost basis. I bought them earlier on. But anyways, it's just something annoying when you move, uh, when you move from company to company. Uh, QELL Acquisition is a company that I talked about recently. Uh, they are in talks with Proterra. Or I shouldn't even say they're in talks. They are it's thought of that they might merge with Proterra uh, Electric Bus Company. Again, I just started a small position on them. APXT, I've been, I bought this one, haven't added to it. Uh, that's kind of something that I've had a problem with. Where, where I invest in these, they go up 20% the next day, and I'm kind of like, oh, Okay, I don't know whether to invest more or not, but um, again, I, I've kind of diversified myself in this portfolio. I think I have around 20 or 22 holdings. I also have Qualcomm. I have one share of them. Again, a company that I moved on or I moved um, from a different portfolio in Robinhood. DMYD, which is kind of like a palantir of sports betting. Definitely an interesting company. I have some of these videos on my main channel for these different companies, but I, I did one on them recently. Again, small position, but I wanted to have some of them. So far, we're up a little bit on them. Teladoc Health, a company that I really like long term. HCAC, uh, spec play EV company. I might actually sell out of this one soon. We're up 75% just on a small position. RMG, another one that I might sell soon just for the fact that they have a lot riding on Nikola. So they have, uh, I think it's around 400 million in pre-orders, but half of those are from Nikola or uh, of uh, contracted revenue, I should say. But half of it's from Nikola. So that makes me a little bit nervous just because I don't think Nikola is going to be that good a company. Uh, Virgin Galactic, up 40%. Uh, long-term hold. Neo, again, another company that I bought, and I just bought too little, too soon or too late. Uh, but uh, still, just down a couple percent on this one. Bought in pretty late. Gores Holdings, uh, dividend-paying stock. That's actually a spec. Uh, I don't know how how I feel about this long-term, but I think it will run up when it's closer to the merge date. VGAC, a company that. I feel pretty good about Richard Branson is the one that owns it, or is, I should say, he's the spearhead of it. Uh, he, I think, is going after an EV company. So I wanted to take a look at Persian Square, uh, Pershing Square Tantine Holdings, P 
PSTH, a company that doesn't have a, a target yet for who they're merging with, but they are Bill Ackman's back. And, you know, if this is striking you as a lot of speculation, that's because I I have, what is this, about 7,000 in this portfolio. I have maybe 50,000 or just under overall in the in the stock market. Pretty much all the SPACs are in this account. I think all of them are. And then I have a lot of cash sitting on the sidelines too. So it's not really that risky. It's just that I'm spraying out my risk along a lot of these SPACs. I also have Fubo TV, a streaming company, but also they announced that they were going to buy part of a a sports betting company. I did a full video on it. So uh, check that out if you want more specifics. CIIC got in really early on this one. I know it says average price is $29.79 and we're actually down, but that's not the case. We bought 32 shares, I think when it was $13 a share, I think $13.50, wrote it all the way up to $31, sold off all of it, bought some back at $29, just bought half of our position. So this is all profit in here. So $450 of profit. We're actually up over 100%, I still believe, and it's all profit in here. Um, but, you know, just another another EV company that we caught really early on, Walt Disney I, I really like this company. I talked about it a few days ago, how it's a sleeping giant and how it's still undervalued. Uh, I have a better cost basis in some of my other portfolios, but I really like this company. If I had to invest all my money in one company, not look at it for 10 years, it might be Walt Disney. It'd be between that and Facebook. Uh, I think that Walt Disney would probably win out. Maybe Berkshire, but that's a little bit that's a little bit reserved for what I would want to put my money in. Then we have Facebook, another great long-term holding I bought more of them all the way up. Uh, Again, I moved this from a different portfolio. So I think my actual cost basis was right around 200, maybe a little bit lower than that, or maybe maybe right above it. Overall in my portfolio, so I was buying it when I was 155 a share uh, during March, April time. Then MP Materials, a company that I feel really good about. Uh, I really like it. It's a company that is in the SPAC, or it's in the, yeah, it was a SPAC. Uh, it's in rare earth materials. It's a company that I really like long term. Again, it's one that I'll probably hold for a very long time. And then we have Longview Acquisition, a healthcare company. And then I don't know why it's not showing, but uh, I have my a couple biggest holdings, Switchback Energy. I have much more in a couple other portfolios, but we're up 100% on that one. Uh, in my other portfolios, I think I'm around an average price of 1650 in this one. I bought a little bit more when it went up a little bit. And then we have BFT, which is a monster. It moved up a good amount after hours. We're up about 20%. I will probably be buying more of this this week. So thank you guys so much for watching this. I appreciate it. Again, one take. I'm not even going to edit it. Uh, it's straight up from my head. So hopefully you like this. Hopefully you like this kind of format. I don't plan on doing this on the main channel just because that one's a little bit more polished and I might change this one up a little bit, but this is a little bit laid back. So let me know what your thoughts are on these. Again, uh, some of these I sold out and bought more back and then some I sold like half my position. So not all these are correct. These numbers and even the average prices aren't necessarily correct, but let me know your thoughts on this portfolio. Again, uh, this isn't my largest portfolio by any means. I'm more in M1 finance and my Roth. I have an HSA, a 401k, another individual account, another individual account on top of this. So I have a lot of accounts. I have too many right now, but they all serve their role. Thank you guys so much for watching this. Let me know your thoughts. Thank you for subbing and hitting the like button. If you want to know what I'm buying in real time, check out the link to Patreon below. And if you want some free stocks through Webull, they're running the four free stock promotion for just through Monday. Uh, At least that's what they tell me. So deposit $100 and get four free stocks. I really appreciate it. Thank you guys. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.